Hello everyone, welcome to Nedi Mobile Bits. Basically, this is also one of the commonly asked Android interview question. Interviewer can ask you what is the use of JVM overloads or when we use JVM overloads in our code, right? So as we already discussed and we know that Java and Kotlin are interoperable, we can communicate from Java code to Kotlin code and from Kotlin code also we can call the Java code. And now to understand JVM overloads better, we are going to use this code and here we have one data class, right? We have one Java class and one Kotlin class. So right now this is the normal data class, but in Kotlin we have the support for default value for any parameter inside a constructor, right? Let's say for this date of birth field, we can assign the default date object, okay? So for this field, we have assigned one default value, right? Now in Kotlin, if you want to create one object of this class, so we can either just pass both of the value or we can also create another object and we can only pass the value for the first field, which is not having any default value, but the field which is having a default value, we can ignore it. Right? So here we have just passed the value for name and for date field we have not passed anything because there is the default value. Right? And Kotlin is allowing us to create an object like this because Kotlin support the default parameters value. But if we try to do the same thing in Java code, so as of now we have one object, let's create one another object person1 and this time we remove the value for date because inside our data class we have the default value, right? We have the default value assigned for the date of birth field. But in Java, Java does not support default parameters. The moment we try to utilize it, we are getting one compile time error, right? It is saying that two arguments are expected but only one value we are passing right? It is saying that this person class is having two fields, two parameters, but we are only passing value for the first one, name. And we have already defined the default value for this parameter, but Java does not support the default parameter thing. Okay, so now we have the question that if we have any data class or any class which is having some kind of default parameter inside the constructor, how we can use that in our Java code, right? So here we can use JVM overloads and this JVM overloads will tell our Kotlin compiler that if you are having any default parameter value, then respectively, please generate some kind of JVM overloads which can be utilized by our Java code. Now, how we can do that? To achieve this, we just need to use at the rate JVM overloads annotation and for which part we need to use this annotation for our constructor. So we just need to specify JVM overloads annotation. Then we need to write down the constructor syntax and we can use any parameter with default value. Now if we just go to our Java code, that error is gone, right? Here we are not passing the date value because our Kotlin compiler has created JVM overloads which can be utilized by the Java code. So this way JVM overload can help us if we have some kind of default value for any parameter inside our data class or in any function. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoy this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video.